So, uh, without uh, any further um, uh, delay, I will pass over to Kwame. Oh, thank you, Hilary. Good evening, guys. How are you guys doing, first and most? Um, my name is Kwame, as Hilary mentioned earlier. Um, I'm really local. I went Trinity High School, up the road, Loretto College as well, um, and I grew up right behind the city ground. I don't even need to turn on the TV to know the scores. Um, yes, and presently I'm um, studying an MA in Multimedia Journalism. Prior to that, I was um, a SAB, a sabbatical officer at MMU Students' Union, where I was representing students on the university's board of governors. But I was based at the Cheshire campus, which is more of a community-based um, campus over there, because um, they don't want to stay too far away from Manchester. Who does, who does really want to do that anyway? But um, great topic today um, regarding identity politics. Um, during my time working with students hand in hand, and especially working across social media and things that I've observed as well, is, is that a lot of young people within higher education look for politics that identifies with them. And it's surpassed, when I talk about politics, it's surpassed the ideological stages. It's looking at the individuals within politics itself that identify with the people that they follow on social media specifically, because it seems like it's more or less where everybody's on social media. Who's not on social media here? In a way, we've stepped into a different world, a world of where we look at the politics of individuals rather than overall ideology or traditional politics itself. Just like, for example, um, the way Jeremy Corbyn has fantastically kind of taken advantage of the idea where people identify politics with individual more, where he has gone and spoken to music artists, photographers, and very and a lot of people who people connect with today. Like I saw an image of him and Stormzy together, like that's so significant. Like what does that mean? Like people would be like, oh, he's just a mute grime artist and a politician, but that means so much more to people, with, especially to young people. It means that the music that, that Stormzy is making, Corbyn must know something of that, so I can identify with that. So I want to know what politics Jeremy Corbyn's in if he's a politician, you know? So that's the interesting side where, that's the part really where a lot of young people that I've witnessed are really getting involved in where, the, where politics is surrounding, where and their identity surrounds other individuals rather than just the general ideological part of it. Um, that's not seven minutes yet, in it? But, all right, that's fine for so far.